In the meantime, opposition leader and People's National Party President Mark Golding stressed that fixing Jamaica's crime problem will be a top priority if the PNP forms the next government. He was speaking following Friday's store of Central St. James, where several communities have been rocked by violent incidents in recent times. Kirk Wright has that story. Continuing with his message of peace and unity, PNP President Mark Golding stressed that the prevalence of crime and violence across Jamaica has not escaped him. And he says it's a top issue he plans to address should the PNP become government. We need to fix it by going into communities and working with community influencers to take them off of a part of violence where there's an issue. We need to nip it in the bud so it don't spiral and want to become another. Next thing you know, man are dead over things. And the people can't even remember what cause it, but man are dead every week. Man are dead. No. That's why we had the peace management initiative. And we want to reintroduce it. We want to have Unite for Change. That and making changes to the education system. We have a primary school system that is failing the youth. Over 30% of our primary school children leave primary school and they can't read and write. The country can't develop like that. That is a recipe for the poverty. That is a recipe for disaster and underdevelopment. We have to fix that and that will be the central plank of what we need to do is to solve that problem. He maintains non-governmental organizations have to become part of any move to fix the country's crime problem. And he praised the private sector for trying with the Project STAR initiative. Salt Spring in St. James is the latest community added to the Project Star project, which, through collaboration with the police, aims to transform under-resourced communities through projects to reduce the prevalence of violence. It includes development activities to help residents in targeted communities earn. However, Mr. Golden says the program is being stifled. But they don't have the resources to make it a national program, and it needs to be a national program because it's a national problem. And it is the biggest problem facing Jamaica right now. It's a security crisis facing the country. Kirk Wright, TVG News.